In the wide fields of the Canadian prairies, where farming is as much a way of life as it is an occupation, a quiet revolution began in the 1960s. It wasn't in a giant factory or backed by massive corporate funding, but in a modest workshop in Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is where two men, Peter Pakosh and Roy Robinson, founded what would become one of the most influential tractor companies in North America. Versatile. Versatile's story is one of innovation, risk-taking and resilience. It's the story of how a Canadian company changed the way farmers worked their land and how it built machines that came to symbolize power, simplicity and durability. And among its creations stood a mechanical legend, the mighty Big Roy, one of the largest tractors ever built. Versatile was officially founded in 1963 the company's two founders, Peter Pakosh and Roy Robinson, were not corporate executives. They were engineers and innovators who believed in designing tractors that were simple, affordable and effective for the average farmer. At the time, four-wheel drive tractors were rare and expensive. Most farmers relied on smaller, two-wheel drive machines that struggled to handle large acreages or tough prairie conditions. Pakosh and Robinson saw an opportunity build a powerful, affordable four-wheel drive tractor that any farmer could own and maintain. By 1966, their idea became reality. Versatile launched its first articulated four-wheel drive models, the D100 and the G100. These were rugged, boxy machines, equipped with either a six-cylinder diesel or an eight-cylinder gasoline engine, each producing about 100 horsepower. They were simple, functional, and surprisingly affordable, selling for under 10,000 Canadian dollars. These early versatile tractors may have looked crude by today's standards, but they were revolutionary. For the first time, farmers could buy a mass-produced articulated tractor, a machine that offered greater traction, better maneuverability, and far more pulling power than conventional designs. It was a breakthrough that would soon reshape large-scale farming across North America. As demand for powerful tractors grew through the late 1960s and 1970s, Versatile quickly became a dominant player in the four-wheel drive market. By the late 1970s, the company controlled an estimated 70% of the market for four-wheel drive tractors. Versatile's appeal was straightforward. The tractors were built with easily accessible components, often using off-the-shelf engines and transmissions that could be serviced locally. Farmers appreciated the simplicity and the value. And perhaps most importantly, these tractors were built tough, ready to handle the harsh conditions of the Canadian plains. The company's color scheme became instantly recognizable, red, yellow, and black. Combined with their flat, squared off design, versatile tractors were easy to spot, even from a distance. They were industrial, strong, and unmistakably utilitarian just what farmers needed. By the mid-1970s, Versatile's lineup had expanded dramatically. Models ranged from 220 to 330 horsepower, with machines like the Versatile 700, 800 and 900 becoming staples on large farms. Then came the 1980s, and with it, a push for even more power. In 1977, Versatile unveiled a tractor that would go down in history not as a commercial success, but as a symbol of the company's ambition, it was called the Big Roy. Officially designated the Versatile 1080, Big Roy was named after company co-founder Roy Robinson. It produced an incredible 600 horsepower, driven by a massive 18.8-liter Cummins six-cylinder diesel engine. At the time, it was one of the most powerful tractors ever built. The Big Roy was massive, 27 feet long, 22 tons in weight, and featuring a unique design where the engine was mounted at the rear for better visibility and balance. The driver sat high up in a cab that looked more like an aircraft cockpit than a tractor seat. Only one Big Roy was ever built, serving as both a prototype and a promotional tool. It never went into full production, but its purpose was clear, to demonstrate what Versatile could do. Big Roy became a traveling ambassador for Canadian engineering, appearing at farm shows and exhibitions across North America today. It's preserved at the Manitoba Agricultural Museum, 
still inspiring awe nearly 50 years later. While Big Roy itself was too large and complex for commercial production, it represented the peak of Versatile's innovation during the golden age of tractor design. Innovation didn't stop with brute strength. In 1977, the same year Big Roy was revealed, Versatile introduced another revolutionary idea, the world's first bi-directional tractor. Designed by Daniel Pakosh, the son of founder Peter Pakosh, the Versatile 150 allowed the operator to swivel the seat and controls 180 degrees, letting them drive in either direction. This made it incredibly versatile, able to function as both a tractor and a loader without the need for attachments to be constantly switched around. The bi-directional design would become a defining feature of Versatile's identity. Later models, refined and rebranded as the Versatile 256 and 276, carried on this legacy through the 1980s and beyond. The concept would even influence other equipment makers and remains a unique feature associated with the Versatile name. By the early 1980s, Versatile was a global brand. Its tractors were sold across North America and exported to numerous countries. The company's lineup grew more powerful and sophisticated, introducing models like the Versatile 1150, a 470 horsepower giant powered by a Cummins engine, but change was on the horizon. In 1987, Ford New Holland purchased Versatile, integrating it into their growing agricultural equipment empire. The buyout brought both opportunity and challenge. Under Ford New Holland, Versatile tractors lost their trademark red and yellow colors, repainted in Ford's blue and white. The brand name Versatile was minimized, appearing smaller beneath Ford model numbers. Yet the engineering spirit remained. Ford modernized the tractor's design, moving away from the flat, boxy shapes to more rounded and aerodynamic forms power shift transmissions were introduced, improving ease of operation. However, corporate mergers soon reshaped the landscape again. In 1991, Fiat Geotech acquired Ford New Holland, creating the new global company known as New Holland. Then, in 1999, New Holland merged with Case Corporation to form CNH Global. Because Case New Holland already owned the Steiger brand of four-wheel drive tractors, the versatile name had to be sold to maintain competitive balance in the market. After decades of corporate ownership changes, Versatile was purchased by Bueller Industries, a Canadian company known for its agricultural implements. Under Bueller's direction, the Versatile name was revived and the brand returned to its Canadian identity. Bueller reintroduced the red color, replacing the yellow with white, and began re-establishing Versatile as a proud independent tractor manufacturer. Once again, farmers responded positively, Many had missed the straightforward design and reliability that Versatile represented. Then, in 2007, another chapter began when Rostselmash, a major combine manufacturer based in Russia, acquired 80% of Bueller Industries' shares. Under Rostelmash ownership, Versatile retained its Canadian operations and continued expanding its product line. The company diversified beyond traditional tractors, producing front-wheel assist tractors, sprayers and tillage equipment. In 2016, Versatile made another leap forward with the introduction of the Delta Track system, a four-track replacement for the standard wheel setup on their articulated tractors. It offered improved traction and reduced soil compaction, meeting the needs of modern farmers working on varied terrain. A year later, in 2017, Versatile brought back its classic red, yellow and black color scheme, a nostalgic nod to its origins and a reminder that even after half a century, Versatile remained true to its identity. Despite the challenges of competing in a market dominated by giants like John Deere, Case and New Holland, Versatile has maintained a loyal following. Farmers continue to value the company's focus on simplicity, mechanical reliability and affordability, traits that have been part of Versatile's signature since 1963. In 2022, the company made headlines once again when it announced plans for a hydrogen-powered tractor. Partnering with Cummins, Versatile began developing a 15-litre hydrogen internal combustion engine, marking a new frontier for the brand in sustainable farming technology. 
And in early 2024, another major shift occurred. Ross Selmash sold all of its shares in Bula Industries and therefore Versatile to Turkey-based Basak Tractor. This new ownership marked yet another evolution for the brand as it continued to adapt to an increasingly global agricultural industry. Today, versatile tractors are built with power ratings ranging from under 200 to over 600 horsepower models, like the 530, 580 and 620, continue the legacy of the early D100 and G100, machines built to deliver straightforward strength and reliability. Versatile's influence on the agricultural world cannot be overstated. By being the first to mass-produce articulated four-wheel drive tractors, it changed the landscape of large-scale farming. What was once a niche technology became a global standard, with nearly every major manufacturer following the path Versatile pioneered. The company also pioneered flexibility with its bi-directional tractor designs, Machines that combined power and adaptability in a way no other manufacturer had achieved. And of course, there was Big Roy, the colossal machine that remains a monument to human ambition and mechanical ingenuity. Big Roy still resides in Manitoba, restored and preserved, a living piece of agricultural history, its massive engine towering cab and bold red paint stand as a reminder of what small Canadian innovation can achieve on the world stage. From its humble beginnings in a Winnipeg workshop to its status as a respected name in global agriculture, Versatile's journey spans more than six decades of engineering evolution and determination. Through ownership changes, market challenges and shifting technologies, the brand has stayed true to its founding philosophy. Build powerful, practical machines that farmers can rely on versatile tractors tell the story of hard work, innovation and national pride. They represent a time when two visionaries dared to dream big, and in doing so, helped shape the future of farming. Whether it's the first D100, the ingenious bi-directional 150, or the unforgettable Big Roy, every versatile tractor carries that same bold spirit. In the fields of Manitoba and beyond, the roar of a versatile engine is more than just the sound of horsepower. It's the sound of history still at work.